All right, another tool time in the garage. I was at a, a state sale uh, last week and uh, I came across these pliers here and I've always wanted a pair. Um, I, I saw them for a long time, but I've never, I've never owned any. Uh, they're real nice because the jaws close in a parallel fashion. The way that the, uh, the, the folding mechanism here allows the jaws to, uh, to close in a flat closure, parallel closure, which is really cool. And they said, well, while we're at it, let's go ahead and put in a, a wire cutter over here. <laughs> it's kind of odd. It's got this wire cutter that's kind of, you know, pokes out the side. So uh, really cool if you're working on wires and stuff. So here's a piece of hard, uh, hard fencing wire and oops, and uh, it, uh, it just snaps it off really, really easy. So this is made by the Sargent Company, Sargent and Company, weird, Sargent and Company in the USA in Connecticut, uh, New Haven, New Haven, Connecticut in the USA. Um, so Sargent may be a brand that you're not totally familiar with. Um, I think they're the main makers of hole punches. So if you were a kid and used a hole punch, I think it was made by the Sargent Company. Uh, this is a model um, 102-S. There's a 102, but this is the fancy version. It has the spring in it <laughs> that uh, pulls it back. So the spring is the dash S version. Um, but yeah, the Sargent Company, they made all kinds of stuff. They made a lot of things that were specific for a particular task. Uh, I think one of them's used in piano repair, one of them's used in jewelry making and stuff. Um, uh, some nice, some real nice hole punches, There maybe some um, wood planes and stuff. Kind of interesting company, I think they've been around for almost 200 years now, something like that. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a fun, uh, fun tool, I like it. Now, uh, the Sargent Company, I looked around to see if I have any other things made by uh, Sargent in my um, uh, in my toolbox here, and I found these. Uh, these are also made by Sargent. Uh, in fact, it says right on the uh, right on the side here if you can read that. Sargent Company. Um, I also bought these at a at a uh, garage sale once. I thought they were really cool. Uh, they are also a wire cutter with some mechanical advantage to them. Uh, uh, not quite as nice as these. Uh, these are just a sheer action and it takes a lot more force than, than this does. So if you're gonna be wanting to cut some hard wire, this is, this is a better tool and, than this one. But uh, it, when you grab them, okay, it doesn't matter which way you grab them because the cut it, cutter is always pointed in exactly the same direction, okay? So if you're like opening up uh, bales of hay or something and you grab your cutter and you, you don't have to worry about which way you have it going around like this, right? I think these were popular for farmers and stuff, you know, fencing and wire bales and stuff like that. So I think these are quite common in the used market. I think these are common also. Uh, there's a lot of other types of sergeant stuff that isn't so common though. Uh, but yeah, I like these. So this is the uh, uh, Sargent, also branded as Bernard. Uh, Bernard, right here on the thing. So I don't know why there's two names, why there's Sargent and then why there's Bernard. Bernard may have been a particular line of tools that they made. Um, I'm not sure, but these are the uh, Bernard number 102-S. And this is the uh, Bernard, I think these are also uh, in the Bernard family, although this doesn't say Bernard on it. It just says Sargent on it. This is a 315, number 315, if you're gonna look these up on eBay or something. So yeah, uh, I do like them uh, because of the uh, parallel nature of this. I can imagine a lot of times where, where that's gonna come in real handy. And there's also, uh, it's a serrated, uh, serrated faces on, the, on these two things. And then there's a groove in one of the, uh, jaws so that you can hold things in this direction um, with that with that groove in there. So definitely made for a wire application, I think. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty cool. Anyway, tools for the day.